Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah, also known as Chuckles the Piggy, and today we're going to be doing a commentary on a game I got about a week ago that was a TDM in, uh, I believe this is uh, WMD, that's it. And today I'm going to be sniping with a PSG1 with a CZ75 extended mags. So basically what I want to talk about today is uh, sniping in general. Now, the uh, sniping term is thrown around a lot that uh, it's wrong to sit back in the back and hard scope people and apparently it's right to run around quick scoping people. Now this is not what everyone thinks, I don't want to stereotype that, but lots of people say that if you sit back and hard scope people or you just hard scope people in general, uh, it's not good and you have to quick scope because that's the right way to do it. Now the way I look at this is if you were in real war, would you really be sitting back, uh, I mean, would you really be rushing around, running around with a sniper rifle, uh, quick scoping people, running up to them, and just like, boom, you're dead? Uh, I don't think you would, because you wouldn't want to die, and that's the whole point why you'd want to sit back, and Call of Duty is supposed to be a realistic game, so, in my opinion, uh, that's how you should play it, but I'm not saying quick scoping is totally ruled out, I'm saying you should be, like, you can quick scope whenever you want. I'm not saying you shouldn't be able to. But I'm saying, uh, quick scoping is mostly meant for, uh, if you get into a tight situation where someone's right beside you, you can quick scope them to get them quickly away from you and kill them. So, in whichever way you prefer to play it, that's the way I'd play it. But don't complain at people for quick scoping or hard scoping for that matter. I think it's just their play style and whichever one they want to do, that's okay. Now, also, what I want to touch on is. Pe snipers using ghost. Now I could not care less if a sniper uses ghost. If a guy with an AK-47 U uh, rushing around with marathon is using ghost, uh, I would complain because like he's in your spawn and he could just uh, be anywhere like rushing around and he's unseen. But a sniper, uh, if I were in the war, I'd want to be uh, hidden in the grass or maybe in a tree, uh, not detectable, just sitting there sniping people. I wouldn't want to uh, be known. So a sniper using ghost, I'm completely okay with that. I'd never get mad at them. But a rusher using ghost, uh, maybe that's a different story. But I'm really okay with ghosts. I don't really care if someone uses ghost. Uh, it's just a bit annoying sometimes. But then again, a blackbird can see them and a three kill streak for a UAV. If they can't see them, that's okay. I don't really care. So that's my opinion on Ghost and the whole sniping uh, jazz. Now let me get into my perks and stuff uh, for the remainder of uh, this commentary and then I'll talk a bit about other stuff. But uh, in this game my perks are, and there the RC car saved my life, but my perks are Flak Jacket, Sleight of Hand, Ninja. Now Flak Jacket I use because I don't want to be hit by explosives and grenades. Uh, I was sniping, so I wouldn't really get claymored a lot, but I probably could have uh, went for something like Hardline or uh, Ghost, maybe. But um, I just stuck with Flak Jacket because I just put this class together at the last moment. So Flak Jacket was what I was using. Sleight of Hand because I want to be able to reload fast in case I have to spam someone down. I can just boom, reload, and be able to spam some more. So that was why I used Sleight of Hand. And I, like on my old account I would use sleight of hand religiously I can never not use it but on this account I just actually unlocked it recently so um I don't know I might go back to using it. it's helpful but I kinda like using warlord and steady aim and stuff like that but sleight of hand is a great perk and finally ninja I haven't posted a game without ninja because that's the only perk uh, third perk I've unlocked so far uh, I do that because I really like uh, being silent because I have a headset which I'll post a video on later. But it really, really helps me out a lot having silent footsteps because no one hears me and I can hear the enemies uh, easier. So personally, I absolutely love Ninja and I really can't live without it. So those are my perks. Uh, sniper Rifle PSG1. Now I know I'm going to get some questions, why not the L96? Um, PSG1 I like for more sitting back uh, defensive uh, play, but if I'm playing offensive like rushing around quick scoping, L96 for sure. I really don't know why I feel like that, but um, <coughs> sorry about that. I don't know. It's just my opinion, and I'm more comfortable using those. 
Secondary is the CZ-75 Extended Mags. Uh, probably my favorite pistol to use. I didn't like it at first, but uh, it's grown on me because I've used it for this whole prestige. And equipment is a Claymore because uh, I'm playing defensive, so I'm just going to set, set my Claymore up and uh, just leave it. So now we're uh, nearing the end of the game. I pick up another Napalm Strike, just quickly throw it in. That's pretty much it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Final score. Uh, don't know. I think that's 15 and 3, but I'm not sure. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.